episode of Will It Break in an Hour here on Zion Mainframe Gaming. Matt's analog, Chuck Rowland. We are going to be reviewing Fun Stuff Float a Ball. It looks like a it kid's pretty fun. Yeah. It looks like a kid smoking a pipe. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know how, how good that is. Yeah. Let's promote smoking a toy form. There's two of us here, and there's two of these. How perfect. All right. We don't have to try them together. <laughs> all right, I'll take the purple one. I'm comfortable oh. with my sexuality. All right, all right. I was gonna take the purple, but all right. So cool. apparently, it's a little pipe. You put the ball in the middle, and you can float the ball. That is fucking sorcery. Oh. <laughs> my mind is blown. I thought it was gonna like shoot. Yeah. Up. Oh wow. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I love this product. <laughs> Oh no, it did what I thought it would do! Why did it do that? Uh, no, go back to the first reaction. Yeah. <clears throat> that is fucking that is awesome. amazing. Uh, this is cool. This was, like, <laughs> this was a dollar. Whoa! This is amazing for- You want to blow your kids' minds? <laughs> Use science right? and physics. Same, like it's designed obviously to, yeah, keep, yeah. to keep I think the thing is it blows everything up but I think these holes in the side yeah. kind of do like a like a like a wide angle on it instead of just going yeah. straight up it kind of surrounds it because I, I failed on the second one but it's really fucking cool Wow I would black out so hard on this though <laughs> if I kept going strong on it. That is amazing. That is good. I think it depends on how hard you blow and how you. Let's, let's try keep this. Your uh... hardest blow. Okay. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I don't where your ball go. Where my ball go? <laughs> well, it's gone now. I would say okay. Will it break in an hour? I don't think so. No. No, it won't. It's plastic. It's cheap, but there's there's not much motion to break it. Unless the kid what? Yeah, he <laughs> yeah. just got pissed off. Uh, rating. <clears throat> I really like it. I would give it a, a ooh, high three. Uh, it's really good. You got to do like a like a consistent really light, blow. consistent blow to keep it in motion. If you go too hard or if you move your hand, the ball's not going to fall back to where it can. It's going to go like that way. Um, I give it a high a high three. It's very good. You no, know, just for a dollar. I'm gonna go five. The reason being is, yeah, it won't last particularly long. I think your kids, the, the gimmick is done after maybe 10 minutes. But for a dollar, giving your kids this, I feel like this is like, this is like telling them Santa is real. Yeah. Because this is, oh, if you blow on this, this ball will float. Their minds will be fucking blown and you'll be the coolest yeah. parent on the planet. <laughs> I really like this a lot. I think it's a cool thing. Have you ever passed out from holding your breath? No, All right, I'll tell I never you, got. I never got that far. I'll tell you, sorry, because because one of the it's not an old wives' tale. It's real. If you have hiccups, one way to get rid of them is to hold your breath. The thing is, it's not the act of holding your breath. It's focusing on something else because that's what gets rid of your hiccups. So, like, same thing is like if you have hiccups and I go, ah, 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 ah. You'll, you go, oh, fuck. <laughs> then you focused on me scaring you and you stop hiccuping. Yeah. So for a long time as a kid, I would stop breathing. I would just hold my breath and they go away. There's one time where I was taking a shower. I was, I got nude. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yeah, look, look at this body. Oh, so good. So sexy. And I was like, <clears throat> and I wouldn't stop. And so I went, and I always, I would always hold it until I started to get a little bit dark, and because you can, you can hold your breath, you can pass out. So I would hold it, and this one time, I did it. I went, and then it started to get a little dark. And all of a sudden, I closed my eyes and I opened them, and I was on the floor. Really? 
And I looked over at the wall. There was this huge fucking hole in the wall. So I had I held my breath until I passed out. Wow. And I fell, and my head hit the wall, and I just laid there for however long. And then I woke up, and I wasn't I wasn't in pain, but I woke up, and I was just like, "Holy shit! I just passed the fuck out." And so I got up, I took my shower, got out, and I had to tell my parents. There's a hole in the wall for a reason. I, I'm not. I'm not an angry person. I'm not punching it. And my mom was like, "Never do that ever again. <laughs> don't, don't hold your breath anymore." And now I don't. Now I just try to get rid of them any way I can. But like, yeah, don't hold your breath in order to stop hiccuping. But this is cool. I like this a lot. This is a great little gimmick. Yeah. Um, I got this at that same Chinese place. So I don't really know where you would get this at. That's so cool. It is. Wow. That is that is yeah. that is science right that there. Is, yeah, right. <laughs> there you go, guys. Float a ball here on Will It Break in an Hour. We'll see you on the next one.